you just add him Hi Mithun. Hi Rohit, can you hear me? Uh, I'm not even. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm able to hear you. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, if you can hear me, just give me a thumbs up. If, if you can hear me, just give me a thumbs up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you are not so, that audible. Uh, but uh, uh, you're not able to hear me. A there's a little bit of a disturbance, but for, uh, as long as the audience can hear me, I think that should be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they can hear you because even I'm also able to hear you. So okay. that should be fine. So how are you uh, doing? Uh, uh, doing great. Uh, are we live? Yeah, we are live. Oh, okay, this uh, session is going uh, live uh, continuously from morning. Okay, perfect, perfect. So hello yeah. everyone. Uh, so yeah, I guess we can start, right? Sure. Uh, so yeah. you can uh, share your screen so that I can put it uh, on the live stream. Okay. And you can give a quick introduction about yourself and what is your uh, session going to be about. Okay, perfect. Good. Can you see okay. my screen now? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So, uh, hi everyone. Uh, this is Mithun Shanbag from uh, Skewed Ventures. So, I'm also the creator of Cloud Skew. Uh, so, Cloud Skew is a, a diagramming tool that allows you to sketch cloud architecture diagrams for free. So, uh, if you need to sketch uh, Azure, AWS, GCP, Kubernetes diagrams, or something like Oracle uh, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure diagrams, you can sketch that uh, with Cloud Skew. So uh, with that, uh, because we just have 10 minutes and there's quite a bit of uh, content to cover, let's just dive right in. So uh, you can access CloudSkew by just going to cloudskew.com. Okay. And um, uh, so some examples of the diagrams that you can draw are, you know, something like these, like these are your AWS diagrams. Uh, this is an Azure diagram. You can even draw Kubernetes or GCP diagrams. So, uh, you know, or you can draw some multi-cloud uh, diagrams uh, using CloudScape. So to get started with the app, you just click on this get started button and you log in with either GitHub or LinkedIn. So I'm already logged in with, uh, I think my LinkedIn credentials. So this is what the um, app looks like. So the very first thing you can do is you can adjust uh, which symbol sets you want. So let's say you're drawing an Azure diagram, you just check the Azure uh, Azure checkbox. Uh, if you need to enable Kubernetes, just check the Kubernetes. So here we have Azure AWS and Kubernetes uh, icons enabled. So, uh, and for each of those uh, icons, so most of those icons, the documentation is uh, available. So let's say for example, uh, we need the documentation for Lambda. So, so now you can just uh, go to the pricing details or the, uh, so you can just click on it and it'll open up the documentation for uh, all the selected resource. So, uh, all right, so let's say, uh, you know, uh, we have a diagram that looks like this. Uh, so let's say, uh, uh, we, we need to go uh, subscribe to the change feed of Azure Cosmos DB. So I just select my function. Uh, let's say I want to add, uh, hook it up to a function app. So let's just do that. Go click on function. So now we have the Azure function. And uh, okay. uh, and this pane on the right allows you to format the symbol, the text, and all those things. So let's say, for example, we need to uh, make the text size a little smaller, but we want to make it bold or we need to change the color to, let's say, red. We can do it here. Uh, after that, let's say we need to, um, yeah, let's say, attach it. So this is basically how the uh, 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 editor works. So you can essentially uh, pick and choose uh, icons from this icon palette here and uh, drag them onto this canvas and uh, start sketching away. 
some additional things that you can, you know, of course, you can uh, export the diagram as an image. Uh, you can, of course, print it if you want to. Uh, you can save that as a template. So, for example, a lot of VPC or VNet uh, diagrams, you tend to reuse those, uh, especially if you have custom subnet configurations. So, you can save that as a template. Or you can just share, create a shareable link uh, that, that you can share with others. So um, in addition to that, uh, there's also a documentation, uh, uh, document editor built into it. So, uh, you know, you can describe your architecture uh, in inside the app itself. And when you share the uh, diagram using the link, this uh, document gets shared along with it. So you don't have to do the work of exporting it out as an image, putting it into a Word document, and then uh, typing into your Word document. You do everything in one place. So at a high level, this is what the app looks like. Uh, all diagrams are auto-saved. So uh, you know, here are all my uh, my diagram repositories. Uh, we have a couple of uh, built-in uh, templates that you can use to as a starter kit, and that's about it. It's a pretty simple app. Um, so let's uh, actually now dive in to you know how this uh, thing has been created uh, using Azure. So uh, it's free, by the way. So uh, feel free to log in and you know start diagramming away. So uh, I've actually written a big blog article uh, on how exactly uh, you know uh, how, how CloudSkew works underneath the covers. Um, but uh, let me just, uh, this. I think this diagram helps uh, us recap. So let's take a look. So at its core, uh, there are two apps. So the main diagram editor is an Angular app. And uh, the landing page that we just saw, uh, that's a static ViewPress app. So both those apps are uh, served out of an Azure storage account. Um, and then uh, uh, we put a CDN in front of it. So the CDN obviously gives you benefits like compression, caching, um, free TLS certs, uh, HTTP uh, URL rewriting, and all those uh, advantages come with the CDN. Uh, we have a couple other storage accounts for storing custom images uh, and things of those sort. And of course, the CNAME records are uh, mapped to uh, are used for. Uh, uh, you know, mapping the subdomain names to the uh, CDN endpoints. Uh, authentication is done through Auth0. So you either log in with your GitHub or with your LinkedIn credentials. And uh, Auth0 will uh, hand us over uh, ID and access token as JWTs. So then we come to the backend uh, web APIs, which are created with .NET Core. Uh, so we have two uh, main uh, API sets that are uh, API apps that are uh, in one containerized app service. Um, so this is a simple uh, CRUD over, uh, you know, like diagram, diagram templates, user profiles. So the main uh, database is a SQL Azure database. So um, we try not to write to the SQL database directly uh, because, you know, we are auto saving the diagram. So there's, uh, if hundreds of users log in at the same time, this just tends to overwhelm the database. So instead, what we use uh, is something called as queue-based load leveling, which is essentially we just want to buffer out those writes. So we write them to a queue, uh, which is essentially a service bus. And then uh, we asynchronously dequeue all the messages uh, with a, a function app, and then uh, write it asynchronously to uh, SQL Azure. Uh, there's also a key vault which stores all the uh, secrets, uh, endpoint URLs, passwords, connection strings. So as soon as these apps wake up, they just go read the configuration from the key vault and bootstrap themselves. So uh, let's see, how are we doing for time? We still have four minutes left. Okay, so uh, Cosmos DB is uh, what we use for experimentation. So essentially we decompose the uh, diagram into a graph and essentially use the Gremlin APIs to uh, run some experiments on it. I mean, technically you could take this out of production and it's not going to impact any of the user experience, mainly for experimentation purposes. Uh, for metrics and monitoring, uh, we use App Insights SDK on all the front-end and back-end apps. Uh, so, uh, you know, it helps us uh, track some custom events, like when user is searching for an icon and doesn't find it, uh, we raise a custom event for that. And then essentially we use Azure Monitor for uh, you know having all, triggering all sorts of alerts. Uh, essentially, if there are any 500 errors on the back end or uh, 
there are any dead letter or uh, poison messages on the service bus, we raise alerts. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, the app services themselves are containerized. Um, so uh, essentially, uh, you know, they pull Docker images out of a uh, Azure container registry right here. Um, and uh, at the heart, we have our CI CD system. So everything that you see has been provisioned with Terraform. So one of the advantages of Terraform is uh, obviously you can uh, you know, uh, use the same set of scripts to replicate an environment. So we have three uh, identical environments, a dev, a test, and a prod environment with uh, slightly differ different key vault values. Uh, but essentially, there are like replicas of each other. And then you have a CI CD system, uh, which essentially every time you check in into the main branch, um, uh, it builds out and deploys it to test environment. Uh, using uh, DevOps uh, pipeline tasks. So at a high level, you know, this is how it has been built. Uh, you can get more details uh, by uh, going to this URL, bit.ly slash cloud skew infra. Okay. Uh, so this is essentially going to uh, take you to the, uh, take you to this, page. So uh, once again, the uh, website name is uh, and I think we are almost out of time. Uh, but I'll just leave my email address here. So if you need to, uh, if you have any questions, we can follow them offline. That's my email address, and uh, I'm also on Twitter. So that's my Twitter handle. So uh, yeah, uh, how are we doing for time? Uh, I think you can still extend for uh, uh, four or five minutes. Okay, perfect. That, I think that, that that really yeah, I, I think I'm pretty much done with the, the content as such. Uh, I can definitely take audience questions. Sure. If there is any question, uh, guys, I would like uh, request you to put your question. Actually, most of the people were asking for your uh, website link. So we have shared uh, the CloudSQ website website link yeah. and the yeah. architecture details link as well. Perfect. So the uh, cloudsq.com is the website. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, again, it's free. There, you don't have to install anything. All the icons are preloaded, and uh, you know it's got a built-in document editor as well. So. Uh, and all the documentation for all the resources are uh, available in the app. So you can just click on something like this and go directly to the documentation. So yeah, uh, questions? Questions? Uh... Yeah, uh, 